like this. When we have a proportion, all right, there's two different ways I'm going to show you guys how to solve this one. Um, there's actually three ways we can look at this, but let's just look at the two ways. The first way is let's go back to our inverse operations. You guys remember when we said solving one step equations? When solving one step equations, we always wanted to undo what was happening to the variable. So therefore, I asked Sierra, when Sierra, when you look at this and you look at the variable g, all right, what could I say is that 2 doing to the g? You have four operations to choose from. It's like a multiple choice test. Yes, you're dividing, right? Now you didn't get to. You could add, subtract, multiply, divide, and you already said dividing, which is great. Yes, you're going to be dividing this. Do you, does everybody see that g is being divided by 2? Mm -hmm. Yes? So when we solve equations, we always use inverse operations. So therefore, we want to apply the inverse. You want it, the review? Oh, yeah. How many? Uh, 90 or like Yeah, 90. 90. Yeah. Thank you. No um, so therefore, if we have to divide by 2 equals 15 over 10, if we're divided by 2 to undo division, we have to let's ops multiply. Very good. So therefore, let's multiply by 2 on both sides. Let's cool, do a true cool color. So if I multiply by 2 on both sides, therefore, g times 2 divided by 2 is just going to leave us with g. So that leaves us with g equals, then we multiply our fractions. Remember, multiplying fractions, we multiply across. So therefore, 15 times 2 is 30. 30 divided by 10 is going to be 3. All right? Now, you might say, OK, I kind of understand that. But let's, I kind of remember learning it a different way. And maybe some of you guys might like this method. Yes? Cross multiply. Yeah, cross multiply. I think it's everybody's like, favorite term to use. And the reason why everybody likes cross multiplication, and the reason why I showed you guys this other method first, is because what happens when we multiply fractions? Everybody forgets how to multiply fractions, and they always remember cross multiplication. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when you have a ratio equal to another ratio, we call that a proportion. And when you have a proportion that you need to solve, you can apply cross multiplication. And what I want you guys to understand, cross multiplication is just another way for us to solve You guys see how we're getting the exact same answer? G equals 3 equals 3. So if you'd like to choose cross multiplication, I have no problem with it. I just want you to understand this method works as well. Okay? Yep. And that'd be a preferred method. I just wanted to make sure you guys understand.